Okay, welcome back to the Wolf Mongos. Episode one still. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh -huh. You guys just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? There's two sockets in there already. Is that yeah. Can we go in? Yeah, we can talk about. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? No tiny something, but don't know what yet. The kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Huh. I just tried going silently. <laughs> okay. Wait. What? Oh. Oh. Is it good? Uh, it's blood, isn't it? What happened here? The poker? Whoa! There's fresh blood on the tip. You can smell it from the door. Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mavarening now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Looks to be in a fable, I suppose. <laughs> And a frog. Okay. Is it blood on the wall? Yep. I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah. Still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me in. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rat. Must have got some on furnishment. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Why aren't you bleeding? Well, like I say, I heal fast. Takes a lot of these strats, you know how it is. Mm, Popped his way out of that one. You not make a big faff out of this. There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things have been, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle and a fight. You're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. You'll see. Now, if it's blood, you know what happened. No. I there's marks here on the windowsill. What's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Why would you go out drinking if you, like, haven't got a glamour there? Hmm. Matt, what, what was on the table then? Get damn it. Okay, there. There's a mark over here, too. What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? The lamp was probably there. Yep, the lump. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. 
It's my own play. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who ah. fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on. Get off with this. Anything over here? No, I don't think so. What now? Okay, we have that snow, but... Busted lock. Why is the lock busted? Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust to the broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? Oliver Tapwater running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? I'm scared. Toad, come on. What's the story here? The story, Sheriff, is that this place is falling to crackers. Everything's broken and rotten and busted. Just where do you think that smell comes from? Nah, it's something happened here. Famous break, aren't you? Uh, stop talking your way out of the mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I call, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus nope. Christ, what more do you want? Um, I'll cut me in. I'll throw the lamp. Do it. This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? I'm not going to hit it. limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're going to tell me what's going on here, or I'm going to start... Dad! Bigby. Is this really necessary? Oh, maybe, uh, maybe it, it got away from me a bit. Dad? Oh my God. Blink on your hat. Bigby, you didn't. He didn't. Uh, it was that butcher, I a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. What was he looking for? I don't have a fucking clue, Sheriff. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give a bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things for people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. You are merely repossessed what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Oh. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. Uh, nope. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. Mm. Like it's a map of some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lorn. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Uh... Don't make it a dilemma. Let's just give it to him. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. 
Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. You'll be alright. She seems angry. So, the princess now? Lauren says, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. Mm, when the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive, if necessary. Or, you can. Okay. Let's go in. Let's get them in. Uh, talk. Can you hear me? Knock. Or push. Stay with me, Lord. No. I'll be all right. No. Let me go. She. Oh, what Jesus. Is it that we're us? Oh. Oh. Bigby, water. Kitchen. Oh, God. Oh, uh, that's him. Over here. Quick. Get, get it. I'm probably gonna have to find a cover, aren't I? Oh, I just got one. Cool. Give me a plan. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? Hey. Oh god. Oh, we only got one question. Oh, that's another death now. Do you still have that letter? Yep. Of this. It's your decision. Do what you think is right. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Fate. Oh, that was a short letter. It's only two words. But he died without seeing them. I'm sorry too. We 
need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. That TV show sounds really weird. <laughs> Look here, I just saw this picture in the background then. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Mm, that's definitely built for them. Bullet hole? Oh, Jesus. Just gotta keep the bullet. I still got that, like, piece of jean stuff. Oh, God. Oh, there's a gun. Fingerprints? Be on the grip and the trigger. Okay, now we've got a gun. Oh, there's the knife. That's a different kind of looking knife. Matches the caliber of the gun. Uh, pills. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Uh, oh, uh, fun. Oh, we just turn it off, I'm guessing. That doesn't really help. <laughs> nope. Okay. Why is there, like... Okay, I think we've got everything from this little section now. Knife. Sharp. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? No clue. Uh, anything else? Yeah, what's that? Blood. Can we even go through that? Oh. oh, right. Oh, it's bad. Oh, son of a... Let's take this note. Start to the bed a little. Ooh. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Wait, wait. We're together now. wait a minute. I want to see if we put subtitles on. Keep it on here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Resume. We've already looked at the bullet hole. We've already looked at him. So, um. Oh, okay. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. And then we can open the closet. Oh! oh. Jesus! Stay here! <laughs> that made me jump. Oh god. Hey! Stop! Oh my god, that really made me jump. Leave me alone! Um, I'll do. Ah. Okay. Down. Let's go in. Oh god. Sorry, mate. Ah! Oh crap. Oh. Uh I'll too. Just through the window. There. Um I'll too. Yeah. Oh crap. How 
So it goes, what the fuck? Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, okay. I might have messed that up. Oh, no. Hey! <laughs> Get him. Ease up, Bigby. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. God. What were you doing back there? Had some questions for Larry. Didn't think it'd go how it did. A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Oh, crap. <gasps> he almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. <sighs> yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Oh, crap. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. Cute. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. Hmm. The guy, I mean guys who attacked me, D and Dumb, they've got something to do with all this. You think so? I don't know how or why just yet, but if you're asking, hmm, it's a hunch. Okay. Thanks I wish you. there was... <laughs> Awkward. Sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... It's nothing. I just... <laughs> Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. 
You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. We'll fix it. system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. We try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, then we turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You no. should stick it out. There are fables that would give up a lot to be in the position you're in, and I think it's easier to change something from the inside. You're telling me change comes from within. Uh, sure. Not the advice I imagined hearing from you. Uh, I'm full of surprises. Trip trap. Some sort of bar. Hey, that building uh, was the one where uh, the the one next to it. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, maybe I should. Three apples. Big B. I just be careful. All right. The Chip Chap Bar, the Bronx. This is some cool music. What do you want, Sheriff? I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even going to ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which, uh, I don't know. I'm the police, don't you? <sighs> don't let him tell you what to do. You're your own woman. Well, this is me talking, Big B. Fuck off. <clears throat> Get that a lot in this game. Okay, what's the grant machine, that's weird. Okay, so okay. let's get some, oh no, uh, what's that, a tip jar? Oh, big Lex, <laughs> no one there. <laughs> Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. True. Can I talk to Gren? Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, I'm sure you don't know him. Come on. Tell me what you know. I know you're an asshole, and you're not wanted here. How's that? It's fine. I walked into that. Well, crap. 